When you look at your sewing machine needle, you'll notice that the top edge is quite a bit bigger than the bottom edge. The wide part goes in your machine, and that's where it will be gripped by the machine, and then the thin part is what will poke through your fabric. You'll notice at the top of your needle that there is a flat edge. So there's a flat side and a curved side that flat side you need to pay attention to. You can consult the manual on your machine for specifics, but in my machine, the flat part will point towards the back. If you're not sure and you don't have your manual, take great care when you remove your needle from your machine and pay attention to where that flat side is so that you can put your needle in the same position when you place your new one inside. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your sewing machine is off. Since we're going to be placing our fingers next to the needle, we want to make sure that we're protected and we don't get poked, so make sure your machine is off so you don't accidentally move the needle. Next, it's usually helpful if your presser foot is down. So I'm going to lower the presser foot so that it's out of the way. I'm going to hold my needle with my left hand. Take care not to poke yourself. And then I'm going to loosen the screw with my right hand. You may need to use your screwdriver to do this. So I'm just going to set my screwdriver in the groove and I'm going to turn it slowly towards me. You don't want to take out the screw all the way. You want to turn it just enough that the needle becomes loose. So feel with your left hand and slowly turn it towards you and once you feel it give way, gently pull it out. Remember, keep an eye on where the flat section is. On my needle, the flat section is exactly in the back. The curved section was straight in front. Then take your new needle, make sure that the flat section is going the same direction, so in my case, the flat section is going straight back, slide it back up in the groove, and make sure it's as far as it will go. On my machine, you can tell if it's high enough right here. So right here you can see the little metal stopper. That is the top needle position. I'm going to slide my needle in until it hits that stop, so all the way up, and you can kind of see right there where it hits. Hold it all the way up to the top, as high as it'll go, and then tighten your screw. You do want it to be pretty tight so that you can make sure it's not going anywhere. So turn it gently until it won't go anymore and you've replaced your needle. So not much to it. So you should change your needle about every 10 hours of sewing. I also like to change it after big projects um, or whenever you need a specialty needle.